Hi, I'm Penny Blackburn. I'd like to share three poems that are going to appear in the Wild Words Wicked edition. My first poem. We all bought into the myth of intense passion, undeniable, burning. We repeated the cliches among ourselves, soothing words about the moth to the flame, how he was your Heathcliff. We wanted to believe it was something more than a common or garden abusive relationship. You told yourself lies to make a truth for us. The in-betweens make up for the fights. He's fine most of the time. Things are not as bad as they look. We all watched as like a child with a pencil. He snapped you into smaller and smaller bits. My next poem is called I am the one who puts them there. Each night a different dream. In some you drown, in others burn. In one you shrink, your sighs reflecting your sense of insignificance. Another sees you stretched, skyscraper wide and full of falling. When you wake, not sweating but shaken dry, you tell me half-remembered details. I cup your cheek, press a palm to your heart. The pounding slows, your limbic system relaxes. I feel your frustration. The words don't do justice to the fear that held you. Don't worry. I know what your dreams do deep inside your mind. Thank you. My third poem when they call something a war zone. What they usually mean is the loudness of battle, the clacking of AK-47s, the rumble two streets away of somebody else's tanks. Or they think of grainy nighttime news footage of raids, a flash of explosions dimmed and small upon the TV screen. I think of the other meaning, where the war has been, Craters and rubble mounds, holes in the walls of family homes, hastily strung screens opposing the darkness. Someone cooking beans in a blackened pot. You still need to eat, even when all you know is in ruins, when your children are blank-eyed, worse than dead, and no one is looking. Thank you.